Hey guys and welcome to the today's video and I hope you guys are doing good today and today we are going to discuss about something on DNS it's known as core DNS versus cube DNS so we will be discussing about what is core DNS and what is cube DNS and we will be talking about something on the core differences between these two components so this is very important and it's been widely used in kubernetes and other places and both open source has unique features and we have to go ahead and discover it on each of the things so so this particular video it's an important one it should be known by everyone so do not skip the video please do watch out fully so that you will be understanding a deep knowledge about what are all these things so without any wasting any time just get into the video okay now it's time to talk about something on what is core dns and what is cube dns so core dns and cube dns are both our dns server that can be used with kubernetes so core dns is newer more modern dns server so that is written in go cube dns is older dns that is written in c so dns has number of advantages over the core cube dns sorry i mean to say the core dns has a lot of advantages over cube dns so what exactly it says so it is more efficient can handle more queries it is more uh, modular and can be customized more easily so it supports wide range of features such as dns sec and edns0 it is more actively managed and receives security updates more quickly so as a result of these advantages core dns is recommended dns server for new kubernetes cluster so cube dns it's still viable option for kubernetes cluster but it is not recommended for new deployments and the cube dns is less efficient less modular and does not support many features as core dns so there is a comparison okay so it is in written in languages like core dns is written in go and cube is written in c and it is uh, more efficient on core dns and less efficient on cube dns modular it's more modular in core dns and less modular in uh, the cube dns so core dns supports the wide range of features and cube dns doesn't supports and the maintenance is more actively maintained on the core dns and maintenance is very less on cube dns recommended for new deployment if you are going for a new kubernetes cluster you can use core dns and don't use the cube dns for the new clusters so these are all the things that about what is core dns and what is cube dns so next we will talk about something on the curated points that is 10 points which have been curated for you to understand the core differences okay so now it's time to talk about the core differences between these two products so let's get into it so what are all those so the point number 1 what it says like the core dns is single container per instance while cube dns uses three so what exactly is this so this means that the core dns is more lightweight and efficient than cube dns a single container instance of core dns is more efficient than cube dns which uses three containers per instance so this is because the core dns do not no not needed to run on separate container for caching and serving dnssec records so just quickly jump into the point number 2 what exactly the point number 2 says so the point number 2 is all about the cube dns uses dns mask queue for caching while core dns uses its own built in caching so let's go ahead and check the detail about this so this means the core dns can cache more queries and responds to them more quickly the core dns uses its own built in caching system which can cache more core queries than cube dns which uses dns mask queue so this means that core dns can respond to the queries more quickly what's the point number 3 so the point number 3 is all about the core dns enables negative caching by default while cube dns does not so what exactly this is says so the core dns can avoid sending a queries to upstream dns server for name that do not exist so core dns enables negative caching by default which means that it does not send queries to upstream dns server for name that do not exist so this can improve the performance and reduce load on upstream dns server so point number 4 it talks about something on dns how it has been written so core dns it's written on go while cube dns it's written on c so 
so this is more portable and can be run in wider range of platforms so core dns it's more portable and can run in wider range of platforms so this is written in go which is portable language that can run in wide range of platforms and cube dns written in c which is less portable languages that can only be run on limited number of platforms okay so the plan the point number 5 is all about core dns has more modular architecture than cube dns so what exactly this is means so it is easier to extend and the customize that's the main reason for the core dns so core dns has more modular uh, architecture than cube dns this is easier to add new feature and customize the dns to meet specific needs so that's the reason this is more modular in architecture so point number 6 is all about the core dns has a wide range of feature than cube dns so what exactly this means so for the core dns it supports the wide feature than cube dns this supports the sub, uh, includes the support of dnssec e dns0 tls and all those things so dnssec is a security protocol so that adds authentication and integrity to the dns record so e dns0 is an extension to the dns protocol so this allows for more efficient communication between clients and servers tls is a security protocol that encrypts the dns traffic and everything so it's basically for security standpoint of view so this is all about the dns is wide range of feature it supports point number 7 what exactly it says is like so the core dns is more actively maintained than cube dns yes this is agreed so because it has a very large number of community so it supports a lot of things so the, the we receives a uh, receives a security updates and bug fix and regularly while in cube dns we do not receive all those things very likely to receive these security updates and bug fixes point number 8 is all about uh, the core dns as default dns for kubernetes in 1.11 and later so this is somewhat something very important so basically the this means this recommended dns server for the new kubernetes cluster so if you are using a new kubernetes cluster and if you want to use uh want to know which dns is used so by default it is used in core dns it won't use the cube dns so what's exactly the next point so the next point is all about point number 9 so core dns is widely used than cube dns why it's the, why, why and it is most widely used do you know what's the reason so more documentation and support available for the core dns so this is the uh, the main reason and support is available for the core dns and cube dns we do not get much support point number 10 is all about we discussed on something the cube dns sorry the core dns is faster than more efficient than cube dns so what exactly this means this is like the core dns is faster and more efficient than cube dns this is because the core dns is single container instance uses its own built in caching and it enables the negative caching by default so overall the core dns is more modern and performant dns than cube dns that is recommended dns server for the new kubernetes cluster to use the core dns and widely used in the production environments So that's all I have guys I hope you might have enjoyed this particular lecture we'll see you on another good lecture thank you so much bye bye